Promise you our little star together We'll be happy as we are together Kamal, welcome to 7.30. Thank you. What are some of your reflections about your success since coming to Australia? I was desperately insecure. And coming from Malaysia to here, for the first time in my life, I was aware of my blackness, unlike ever before. <laughs> to overcome that, that, that uh, complex, I played sport to get attention, and uh, that wasn't enough. Eventually, it was never the music, it was the lyrics of a song. And I heard Nat King Cole singing Nature Boy. I fell in love with the words, and at the end of it, somebody said, oh, you sound like Nat King Cole. To me, that was the match that uh, lit the wick. I believe this is 33 gold records. It means a million, ho um, a million wholesale records. A lot of people buy your records in bulk. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> Singer Kamal has been honoured for his services to the community and entertainment industry. I think it means something for my fellow Asians, migrants who've come here. I think I'd like to think that um, I've built a small step so that they can climb life's ladder a little more easily. To make this land you became known for a catchphrase why are people so unkind? Where did that come from? What I really said was why are so many people so unkind in a song called What Would I Do Without My Music? The original line was why are people's eyes so blind? So I thought kindness was more important. Kindness is next to kingliness. On that point, do you think that the world has become more unkind? It's, you know, supply and demand. I think uh, the world is in need of more people with dignity, with conscience, with kindness, less greed. Hello. Uh, g'day, Daryl. It's lighting here. Is Kamal coming up uh, next, is he? Yes, he is. Let's talk about that program. What was the stated purpose for you to be on the show? My theory... My, my theory is that as an entertainer, if you're not on television, they, they think you're dead. With a program like Hey Hey, it was, it was a landmine. And uh, I, I knew I would get blown up here and there occasionally, but uh, there were some instances that was harder to stomach than others. I think the one you're referring to was the the week before my second appearance at Carnegie Hall, while I was singing, they got, I got hit, hit in the face with it. Did you agree to be part of the jokes? Oh, yeah, I mean, I volunteered. And never, never mind agree, I volunteered, you know. But knowing full well that uh, there'll be a downside to it, but never realising how, how offensive the de downside would be. It's like losing your pants, you know, losing your underwear. I mean, uh, it's, you know, you, it's stripping you of everything, you know, and uh, it's like being naked, you know, it, it's, a, it's a terrible feeling. But uh, what I was really disappointed with, that given I was doing my second concert at Carnegie Hall, that they couldn't be, they couldn't bothered, they couldn't be bothered to make the the tiniest fuss to say, here is a guy who's done something. Why couldn't you speak about your feelings until now? I didn't visit it too often, you know. Occasionally somebody might bring it up. I mean, I, I you know, I went on to do other things. You brush it off, I mean, you don't dwell on it, you know. I think uh, I, uh, at the end of the day, you know, I think you have to face the fact perception means a lot more than reality. The host and producer of Hey Hey It's Saturday, Daryl Summers, has responded in a statement, saying that the Hey Hey team does not condone racism and that he deeply regrets any hurt felt by Kamal. Hey Hey, he said, never set out to offend anybody, but always strived to provide family entertainment. What would be your advice to other culturally diverse entertainers in Australia, given your experiences with racism? At the end of it, Go after what is true. Don't fake it. You want me to give you a sample of Nat King Cole? 
You want one? A magic day he passed my way. And while we spoke of many things, fools and kings, this he said to me. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.